How you doing, everybody? It's uh, 2014, and I just wanted to give a heads up and uh, show you guys what I'm going to be growing this summer. It's finally warming up, and um, it's finally about to be that time when we can get the garden rocking. Nice patio garden. All these pots, uh, grow bags, are all going to be, they have uh, all have seeds in them, or baby plant starts, and soon enough, we're going to have a nice jungle out here. See, I got some little baby oregano, some romaine lettuces. In the pots, I got tomatoes, cress, some golden beets in there. I got some peppers in here. They're of course, the seeds. Some red beets, some more tomatoes, tomatoes, some red kale, some cherry tomatoes, some thyme. This is gonna be filled with basil, sweet peppers, golden tomatoes, more golden tomatoes. Moringa's gonna be in there. Got some red orac that's gonna be in there. I'm gonna have some mint inside here. Some more peppers. But you get the gist. See, I got a bunch of little baby. I got some basil in here, some sage, some mint, some thyme. That just, all these are just planted out today from plant starts. Got some baby collard greens. Got some mint, purple peppers. Some, a lot of different stuff. Dinosaur kale. Inside this bed, I've had asparagus for um, two straight summers. And I'm hoping that uh, the asparagus roots will shoot up and give me some asparagus again. Gonna have some peas in there, some cucumbers, more cucumbers. This is my apple tree. See right now, it's looking like it's literally dead. Give it a few weeks and this thing will be full of beautiful flowers. Gonna have some eggplants over here. Got some young strawberries. You see these little, looks like dead shrubs. These are all blueberry bushes. And soon enough, they'll be, actually if you look over here, they're actually getting ready and sprouting out to give me some leaves. And these things give a lot of blueberries. And believe it or not, the blueberries are very delicious. Like most blueberries from the store don't even taste very good. These are amazing. See, these are Blue Duke blueberries. And I'll be making update videos to show you guys the progress of my garden. I think that's a, what is it, gardenia? I forgot exactly what it is. Oh no, it's a hydrangeas, that's what it is. There's another hydrangeas over here. See, I got a baby fig. I actually put some little lettuces at the bottom over there. Over here is my gardenia from last year. I brought it in and it seemed to die. But I've learned with plants, when you think they're dead, they're not really dead. Just give them a little time and they'll come back to life. So I'm, I've actually thrown plants in the garbage and then came back a few days later and they had, were alive. <laughs> so uh, I've learned that also. You see my lavender plant over here, it looks completely dead. Give it a few days and it's going to spring back to life. It's got a young, fresh rosemary right here. So what I've noticed is growing in grow bags is amazing because you can get huge grow bags at a very cheap price. Whereas one 10 gallon pot is normally like $10, $20. You can get 10, 20 grow bags for the same size at the same price. And they're much better when you grab the plastic pots, they crack, they get messed up. These things, very strong and sturdy. See over here, I got a bunch of little baby tomatoes plants intertwined with some um, young romaine lettuce plants. Got some um, parsley, some cilantro, some more rosemary. See from last year, my chives are coming back in. Chives are the best. And right here are my favorite. They look like just dead branches, but these are, um, these are Concord grape. I don't know, is it bushes or trees or vines? Yeah, probably vines. Pardon me, I'm not a professional at this. But um, yeah, these are Concord grapes. I'll be giving you updates. They're gonna give me tons of grapes. Hopefully the birds won't get them all. And this is my raised bed where I'm gonna have collard greens, spinach. We're gonna have, um, what else are we gonna have in here? I gotta look at the sign. Some rainbow chard, some freckled lettuce and dinosaur kale. 
Then over here, we're gonna have some more tomatoes. Planted tarragon in there. And here I got some lettuce. It actually, if I could zoom in, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. If you can see closely, it's like little baby sprouts popping out. Lettuce is the easiest thing to grow, especially little baby lettuces. You just throw the seeds, let them grow, cut them, they'll come back. And yeah, this is my first segment of my 2014 garden here in the Bronx, NYC. See, we have a beautiful day. Nice, clear skies, actually, for once. No fake clouds, no chemtrails. <laughs> Everybody have a blessed day.